I think we all know that New York City is famous for the tap water, but I'm getting a little tired of explaining that the secret to New York pizza is not our tap water. And it brings to mind an interesting experiment. What if I make the exact same pizza dough using New York City tap water and a type of water that has literally nothing in it besides hydrogen and oxygen, distilled water. Let's see if there's any difference. So these two doughs are made with distilled water and these two doughs are made with tap water. I do see actually the color of the distilled dough is a little bit lighter and the tap water dough is a little bit darker. Or is that just my eyes? Okay, here's the distilled. I made this dough two days ago. Whoa, it is ready. If you wanna know what recipe I used for these two doughs, just check the caption. And here is New York tap water. Doesn't look too different. Tap water has minerals and additives in it that are good for our health, like fluoride. And distilled water doesn't have that. So I would not recommend using distilled water in your everyday life, but it's a fun experiment. Let's do distilled first. As with every pizza I make, I'm really trying to not overhandle the dough before it's time to stretch it. So I'm letting it just drop out of the container directly into a cake pan with some flour in it. I'm gonna start by pressing. Whew. Let's do standard New York style pizza, which is gonna be sauce first, cheese last. About three, three and a half ounces of sauce. I always like to start on the outside when I put my cheese on my pizza because the edges are gonna puff up, which means all the cheese is gonna head toward the center anyway. So I don't focus on the center, I focus on the outside. And now I'll just give it a little extra stretch to bring it out to this 14 inch peel. Sliding right into a preheated oven, heated at the highest temperature possible, and I'm just gonna slide it directly onto the baking steel. Okay, so we're just over nine minutes. I'm pulling it. Oof. Okay. The cheese melt is pretty much exactly what I usually look for. Maybe a little bit overdone. Not the color I'm looking for in the crust, and it feels real hard. Let's take a look under the hood. Oh yeah, it's kind of a dry matted undercarriage. The distilled water dough, uh, really pale on the edge. I'm not getting the multicoloration that I usually get. And on the bottom, I'm getting a nice bake. So I know that the baking steel and the oven are working exactly the way they need to be. We'll find out soon if this is just me being a bad pizza maker or if it really is water. But first let's make a pizza using the tap water dough. Boom. Psh. I like using a cake pan for this because I can prevent my kitchen from getting covered in flour. Okay, this feels a little more solid, way more gassy. I smell more alcohol from this. Like this smells more like a college dorm room. One of my favorite tricks is just to drop the flour off the pizza and rub that into the peel. I always stretch the pizza away from the peel because I don't want to get too much flour on it. And I never like to press the dough into the peel. Classic New York style, start it with about three ounces of tomato. The same exact mixture of whole milk and part skim low moisture mozzarella. Always starting around the outside edge because the edges is gonna rise up and allow the cheese to pool in the center. I mean, th this feels like more like what I'm used to. I don't want to make the assumption that this is gonna be better, but I also don't want to have to go out and buy distilled water every time I make pizza. We're going in. Okay, we're at eight minutes, so I'm gonna give it a check. Uh, Browning up a little bit more than the other one, but to keep this the same, I'm gonna take it out of the oven right after nine minutes. Okay, here it is. It's now or never. Whoa. Fascinating. So these pizzas look almost identical. I get a little bit more browning on half of the tap water pizza, but undersides, almost identical. A little bit more dark on the distilled water one, but that's because that was the first pizza I made, so the steel was a little bit hotter. This is blowing my mind right now. You know what, we gotta taste them to know if it's really the same. Okay, here it is, distilled water. First looks. Not bad. I mean, plenty of signs of fermentation. There's air pockets over here. Not a bad stretch if I do say so myself. Nice and thin and even. When we look at the cross section, this is the crumb structure. So pizza nerds know what I'm talking about. If it looks really dense, that means it's probably under fermented or over handled or over fermented, collapsed. But this is nice, shows some air. This is well fermented. Now, here's the question. Hmm. Good snap. Foldable? Yeah, but but it cracks. Not my favorite. Distilled water pizza dough, not bad. It's my official rating. Tap water pizza dough, a little bit more browning. Oh, wait a second. This one's got more life. It's flexible and it doesn't crack all the way. Mm. 
These are so close to each other. They both have the same crackery crunch. I made this dough two days ago using the exact same amount of water, flour, salt, and yeast. They came out at the same temperature. They sat in the same part of the refrigerator. I gotta say the one thing, the one big difference, texture wise, these are the same. And maybe it's cause I know which one's which, but I do feel like this one tastes more like pizza dough and the distilled water one tastes more like a cracker. I mean, if you switched them up, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference, but for right now, at least I'm gonna stick by tap water and not go out and buy distilled water every time I make dough. Is New York water the secret? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, the distilled water dough came out pretty similar. The fact that these are so similar to each other just proves that there's nothing magic going on in the New York tap water. But I will say, I'm a tap water guy. I'm gonna stand by tap water. So even though this might technically be a really close score, tap water wins in my book.